reviews. Um, so today, I'm going to take a look at another beer from Terrapin. This just came out. This is um, called Hopzilla. And it's a big Imperial IPA. And uh, this beer was brewed once before as one of their uh, limited release big 22 ounce bomber bottles. And um, I guess people liked it so much they brought it back. And I can't, sorry, I couldn't find my bottle opener. Um, they brought it back and they put it in four packs this time, which is really cool. Uh, I didn't get to try it last time it came out, and I'm really bummed out that I didn't because I heard it was amazing. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a big 10.3% Imperial IPA, 100% Maris Otter malts. Um, doesn't say what, what hops they used, but, um, but I'm excited to try it. Oh wow, there's huge hops coming out of the bottle just as soon as I popped it open. Alright, so it's a very crystal clear, um, oh, it's a very pale too, it's a very yellow, golden yellow, um, very clear, lots of carbonation. Uh, nice white head, sudsy looking head. It looks good. Big, big piney, resiny hops. Some, uh, some nice grapefruit coming through. It smells like it's gonna be pretty bitter, um, but there's like a nice, um, bready, almost caramely malt coming through nicely in the nose. That smells good. Really, really good. See how it tastes. Hmm, that's really good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's really really nice. It's actually not too bitter. This the smell. The uh, I was fooled, but it does just lots of pine, lots of grapefruit, and then a really nice bready, caramely malty backbone. That's really, really nice. Yeah, there's like a nice resiny astringency in there too. And um, yeah, man, the grapefruit comes out really nicely. A lot of, like I said, a lot of pine. Pine is the is like one of the, is the main thing in this beer. Um, it's, it's nice and sweet. It's not too thick. It's not syrupy at all. It's uh, got a nice amount of carbonation, a nice mouthfeel. It's got a, a bitter, a bitter finish. Um, something else going on there. The last note that I'm getting it reminds me a lot of something else. Hmm. I don't know. Got to think about it some more. But this is a really nice double IPA. Um, yeah, really, really nice. It does remind me um, a bit of Pliny, just like maybe a bit, uh, maybe a bit thicker than Pliny, maybe a bit heavier than Pliny was. Uh, but it does remind me the taste, the profile of this really does remind me of that a lot. This isn't nearly as smooth as that as that was, but really, really good. Yeah. So that's just a nice big Imperial IPA from Terrapin, <clears throat> Hopzilla, ten point three percent, just came out. Um, one of their monster beer tour beers. Really, really good stuff. Um, uh, I'll give this a rating. I decided I'm going to start doing that now. And uh, as far as Imperial IPAs go, I'm going to give this an A. This is a super solid beer. It's, um, you know, Imperial IPAs have so many different flavors they can have. But uh, but this one I really, really enjoyed. Really nice piney um, flavors in there. Nice caramely malts, bready malts. It's really, really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to give this an A. So. Thanks for coming back for another episode of Grizzly Beer Reviews. Come back for more. This has been a great beer.